Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I am very, honestly, very pleased because I know you're, you're a little, mm, I don't know if I want to sit in this chair yet. <laughs> and um, so I want you to meet Elena. Say hi. Hi, hi everybody. everybody. And you flew in from where with your husband? Uh, Sparks, Nevada. Oh, okay, great. Great, great. Hubby, can you just yell a hello? Hello. <laughs> Great. So he is here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. So you reached out to me because your daughter is getting married in June. That's correct. Right? Yes. <clears throat> and so tell me how it got to that. How you got to call me and why and are you a wig virgin? I am. Okay. But you own a wig. I do own a wig and a topper. Okay. But I never wore one All right. in public, so I'm a little bit scared. Okay. And because it's going to be a big wedding, and I just wanted to look a little bit more just that. All right, great. There's not much I can do with whatever bio hair I have right now. All right. And it's okay. So your hair is on the finer side. Yes. And so has it always been that way, or did something change for um, you? You know, I never had. I haven't been blessed with beautiful hair, okay. so it's been always kind of, it runs in the family, but as I get older, it just became really like baby fine on the top of thinning. Okay. So it's like two in one problem. <laughs> the baby fine, yeah. The baby fine, yes. I get it. Well, luckily you have a beautiful face, so. Oh, thank you. I already know I'm going to blow your doors off and... Uh, on a, quite a few. I can already, I feel it, I can, I know it. And um, so I worked with a couple of pictures that Elena sent to me and uh, that's it. So we're going to get going. I'm going to start with toppers. So let's do that first. Okay. And um, actually I might make a different opening and this might be just about toppers. So Let's get going. So I wasn't sure what color you are exactly, but I already know, and for those, for those of you that are brunette, we're going to put some toppers on Elena right now. And these are our toppers. I know you have one, mm -hmm. but they just, the clips rock right. back and forth. Okay? And so I'm starting with a medium top. I know it's a little lighter than you. Let me see what color this is. This is Coffee Latte R. So when you're a brunette, and just look straight ahead, when you're a brunette, you can wear many colors. Remember the toppers are covering the top of your head. So it's really just the ends that are working in it. Actually, will you just look to your left? This is the same length as your hair. I wasn't sure, okay, if your hair had grown or anything like that. So I'm going to put this on you. Well, I haven't been to the salon in a little bit, so this is a little bit on the longer side okay. than I normally wear. All right. So here is a Lana top. We're going to put both on you, okay. but this is dark chocolate. That is your color, and that was my guess. Okay. So, wow, it's already a great match. But just to show our viewers. So I'm unclipping it and I'm putting it where it would appear your bangs would start. Mm -hmm. Here's your hairline. Some women will put it right up front. And remember these pieces are made for hundreds of thousands of women. So depending on the height of your forehead, the uh, shape of your face, it all changes up just a little bit. And so I'm kind of keeping you in your comfort zone. I'm keeping her in her comfort zone right now to kind of ease her into this, this whole thing. And I've got a, a lot of items to show. So I want you to see. I'm going to turn you just a little bit first. So uh, let me first ask, do you like the front the way it is? And I would trim those bangs for sure. Well, normally... You like all I, straight down? Yeah. Okay. But like I said, I haven't been to the salon for a long time because yeah. um, 
Well, first of all, I wasn't sure what to expect. Okay. I'm in here. And second yeah. of all, okay. But I and so if you like uh, a bang straight down, I can trim that. I can trim and change anything, and so can any of your hairdressers. We also have tutorials uh, that Danny has done showing you all different ways to thin and trim bangs and all that. So that's no problem. That could be done. So once you get the front, I like it right there, then you clip the back. So let me just show everybody. I'm just hiding the tags. So here's the piece, and I'm just clipping these two clips down right into Elena's hair, and then brushing the piece right in. So you can see right here, here's the piece, and here's Elena's hair. It's, it's like exact. I would just do maybe a little bit of trimming. She's not getting a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your long legs. There, there, good. So I'm going to show you the back. So this would be the, oh, let me get you right there. Okay, can you see this okay? Um, yeah. So it's right at your length. It's a very little change, but it would give you, if that's all you want, and then we would change those bangs, then that's it. Here's the piece. It could be teased. <laughs> what do you think, hubby? Different? This, cool. is, this is the most it's minor cool. change. No yeah, one would yes. look at you twice. They would just think, after I did the bangs, right. they would just think, oh, she got her hair done. And that would be it. So we'll go back to what we like, but I want to show you. So this is medium top. This would be the, the closest to Elena's hair. And so you can see, I mean, I like you with the little warmth too. Let's keep going. So it rolls right off. I've got the price tag. It's okay. Let me get that look. Yeah. There you go. Next, we're going to do a Lana top, and this is in dark chocolate, mm -hmm. which this is your color. So just look straight ahead. This is just a little bit longer. This is your color, but with more color, it, it appears darker mm -hmm. because there's just more of it. You know what I mean? And again, we would put bangs in it. So we don't put bangs in a lot of these because a lot of women don't want it and they need it trimmed different lengths. So I'm just gonna back on this a little bit, get it out of your face. So did you ever get as far as clipping the top piece in at your house when you yes, purchased one? It seems like I cannot pinpoint the right place to. Okay. Okay, we'll back. work on that. And I'm a little bit concerned because my baby fine hair, if it's gonna damage or break it or you saw. No, but you're not you're not pulling. Hair. You're not you know, with the clips, mm -hmm. the, the best tip is it should not be pulling your hair. It should be comfortable. You should forget you even have it on. So to me, this is a better length. It's slightly longer, and so it comes think? all the way to the bottom. You like bottom. this better? Yeah, longer is better. A little longer is a little better. And what it does, it's not showing your, you know, let's keep you fuller from the top to the bottom. And mm -hmm. so this is, look. Here's your hair. Here is the piece. It, it couldn't be more exact. It's funny. And so, do you ever wear your hair behind your ears? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's it. And then this, actually, I would trim. It's just a touch longer than your hair. <laughs> we'll have to move you forward just a little bit. You are how tall? 5'8". Oh my gosh. So I met Elena, and Elena's, she's like <laughs> up here on me. So her knees are hitting where we are. Will you just move up? Just Let's just push it up just barely. There. That should do it. We'll see. Okay. So yeah, I could trim all that, but look, you can wear it behind your ears. You can leave a little in front. I trim the bangs, and it's just enhances your hair a little bit. So a lot of clients will have pieces and wigs. And when they're going more casual, they'll do pieces. Or when they just want to throw something on, dressier is normally a little fuller. Right. But I'm um, starting in your comfort zone. So I just want to take you step by step. So the way you remove a top piece so it doesn't pull your hair, because yeah, every hair is important. You just lift it up and away, gently, and then slide it down. So it was the price tag that pulled on the other one. It wasn't oh, the okay. piece. It was this, it was this little piece okay. grabbing you. Just want you to know. So I want, I wasn't sure how long your hair was. So this is something else we do. If your hair is a little longer than Elena's and you want a flatter piece, you don't want lift, <coughs> this is a monofilament top. See, that's mm -hmm. all see-through. Yes. All see-through. The hair is put on hair by hair. So there is no lift. It is flat. And then this is a long top, a mono long top and I can trim it to the length that you are. Oh, I haven't worn long hair since I was in school <laughs> many, many years Well, ago. we're just trying this on knowing I would trim it to match your hair. But I want you to just feel how flat that is. So, if, so do you like a flatter look? Would you like a little more fullness? Especially for the wedding. I don't know what I want. Okay, then we'll keep Maybe going. Maybe I'll see something and okay. I say, that's it. That's, Got it. That's something I wanted, but I didn't know okay. that I wanted. All right. So I think we don't need a long top because Alana Al Al was perfect, perfect length for you. If it's a top piece and the color was great. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep going and let's just move right on into wigs now. Because that, that was great. Let us know what you're thinking, too, as you're watching the video. Okay, I am jumping right in. So, right. with your hair, no matter how much hair you have, or if you have no hair, fine. Make a little, just want to show you how much hair Lena has. We're making a little pony, and I'm not pulling tight because I know you don't want to lose any hair you have. So but it will keep the wig stain on and more secure if you make a little bun. And there are different ways to secure the wig, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So I'm going to take you into Alana wig. Okay. So I put Alana top on you. That was the style that was good. And so let's do Alana wig. So feel how light that is. She's light. Mm hmm Yeah. And this is color is cappuccino. It's a little um, soft, a little softer color. So it comes right up to your hairline. And then fill these tabs on each side. Fill them and make sure they're even. You always want your, mm -hmm. your tabs even, otherwise your wig's going to be crooked. Okay. Okay, super. So with the uh, glasses, should it be under or over? Under, under. You can put your, you know, I put my glasses on and off all day long. Okay. 
and I just slide them right in, okay. right in under the ear tabs, and it works great. So this is a lot of hair. Well, it is until I tweak it. So this could have bangs right here, but it's really not a lot of hair. It's more than you're used to. Mm -hmm. But when I was would be done with it, it would be thinned and it would make sense on your head. So when you get a wig and you take it out of the box and you put it on, you're like, oh my God, there's so much hair. Well, one wig is not for a million different women and their, their likes and, and their perspective on how thick hair should be. But a little trimming right here, my gosh, on our Facebook group, uh, Godiva's Secret Wig Community, we've got over 10,000 women. Have you been on there? Yes. Uh, isn't it amazing? It is. So you can see how other women have trimmed and changed their wigs, or they will go on and say, I don't know if I should keep this, what do you think? And give, everyone will give their opinions. So it's just a little tweaking that needs to be done, really. And Elaine is going to be wearing a beautiful powder blue dress. We're going to show a picture sometime during this video. And um, it's beautiful floor length. And so we want to look great from the top of our head yes. all the way down. I get it. So I can promise you that my trimming, it would be in your comfort zone. All right. Yes. And I'm leaving this a little high because... You're tall and beautiful. You want the lift. You're used to something different. So, but you want something different. So in order to have something different, you have to change your mindset a little bit. But that's why you're here. Yes. You, you are changing your mindset. So I want to show you the back. Okay, uh, what do you think? Honey. Honey. What do you think? With bangs trimmed <laughs> and thinned. It resembles yeah. her right now, but it's too much hair. Yeah. 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 No, I know. I would trim it, and if you didn't like it, you wouldn't have to take it. But I, I see who you are already. So I want to show you. Oh, actually, let's do it. Let's do it this oh, okay. way so yes. you can see. Nice. Yeah. It's just your length. It's not a lot of hair. You can feel it. It's just right against your head. It's just more than you're used to. Yeah, and I normally have it a little bit shorter too because uh, with my hair right now, mm -hmm. when you walk, it kind of floats and you can see through. Okay. So I, I have to trim a little bit. Okay. Shorter. Okay. So and so I can trim those or a tails. Bit shorter, that's sure. fine either. Sure. Right. And a lot of women, once they put a wig on and start wearing it, you know, you wear it where nobody knows you to start with. You go into the mall or you go out to dinner, you run some errands, and you see that no one is saying, oh my God, look at her, she's wearing a wig. People will compliment you because they're not thinking anybody's wearing a wig. So it's just kind of getting used to it. I have a rhyme called put the client in the chair and keep her there. And you know, keep the wig on her long enough that a lot of you know, and please comment for Elena, it's, it will become us. You know, I'm not typically a redhead. By the way, I'm wearing Jenna in Irish Spice. And actually, you should see who I, who I am. I've, have you ever seen me before? I mean, we haven't met in person. No. So, Many, many clients are like me. We just, we don't necessarily have awful hair, but we like changes and There's we like different. convenience. And so... Well, you look good in any color and any wig. Uh, thank you. And, and thank you. But part of it is you all don't know me, so you don't have a story about me like you have a story about you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So part of this experience with me is kind of, I'm trying to kick you out of the box a little bit and try some new colors and slightly new styles, but I'm only choosing what I think is going to be beautiful on you. And I might be wrong some of the time, but normally I'm not too wrong. So 
let me just throw my little girl back on it. So just up at the hairline and even the tabs. That's it. Sometimes I, instead of making a bang, I'll loop a little bit behind my ear and mm -hmm. bring some forward so I can get a little different look like that too. Okay, let's keep going. Is this a maybe? Maybe. A maybe. Okay. Yeah, good enough for me. Okay, I'm going to keep you in your deeper color right now. This is Aria in Creamy uh, Coffee Latte. And again, it's very light, very close to you, to your current look. Sorry. Always make sure the ear tabs are even. Here are bangs. They can be rounded, they can be thinned. And so I put enough wigs on you and you start forgetting who you were when you came in. And that's, that's kind of the fun, it's just letting it go. And nothing's right or wrong, it's just your choice. So talk to me about this little guy, girl. <laughs> it could be shortened. Yeah, I think it's a little bit long, but well, I'm used to. But again, like well, you said, yeah. you, you see yourself in the yeah. mirror for so many years. It's like years. my goal <laughs> is to not make you exactly how you are unless you want it. Because you're here because you want something a little different. She's 5'8 and beautiful. Okay, You don't have to stay stuck. You know, we know our past, but we don't know our future. Mm -hmm. And clients like you, they'll own three, five, ten wigs. They might all be in the same color scheme. They might all be a little bit different. But that's the fun, especially when you don't love your hair, is to give yourself permission. And wigs become a necessity. Not like they are, but you choose that wigs are important in your life to be you from here down. I think I like it better when it's away from my face, so it's okay. not like right here. All right. So when it's just a little bit out, show my face a little bit more. Okay. I think I like it much better. This okay. Way. All right, great. Let me show what you. What do you think? Which one? The color? The first one? Or this? No, <laughs> probably the first one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So this has a little bit more warmth. This has a little got a little more warmth. It's got a little more blended color. And I picked it because I see the warmth. It pulls out the warmth in your skin tone. Well, I guess you can have for different seasons. It, well, exactly. Summer so here, here is cappuccino. Mm -hmm. So that's your difference in color. Okay. There is no right or wrong. There's who do you want to look like. All right. So let me give you a little spin around. Show you the back. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Really beautiful. Just very classic. Mm -hmm. And it would be beautiful with your dress. I like you lighter also. But I'm not stuck. I don't know you. I never met right. you. You know, I met her three minutes ago. So I'm not looking at who you're used to, you know, who you're used to being. So, but really pretty. You have blue eyes. I do. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. So, <laughs> my wicked Ooh. smile. But I, I'm going to because you're here and you came a long way. And I want to see you in this. And this is the same. This is Alana, the same as the first one. But this is Marble Brown Age. I want to see you in a softer, a little brighter color. Let's just look. Yeah, we just leave those off one minute while I get this wig where I want on you. I'm going to just back comb this hair for a moment to bring it to the side. You know, if your hair is falling in your face, just back comb it a little bit, and that takes care of it. 
Do you wear contacts or only glasses? Glasses. Okay. I tried contacts and okay. didn't like them. So great. I mean, you look beautiful either way. So what do you think about this color? And what do you think about this color? I personally didn't really like myself blonde or anything like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Nothing against blonde. Okay. No, 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 no. Like personally not your my, thing. Not my thing. Okay, but thank you for trying it. It's pretty. It's with more color. It mm -hmm. just brings out other parts of your face. So I wanted you to have that experience, well, maybe, especially with your leopard. <laughs> maybe one day I will cross that bridge. Maybe. maybe, maybe. And if you don't, it's okay. You know, if I only put on you what's exactly you're used to, to me, I, I wouldn't be doing the whole, you right. know, the whole experience. Yes. So, all right. And if that's the case, I'm going to skip a few and I'm going to keep you closer to your color. So, this is Harmony in Coffee Latte. It has the bangs already. Okay. It is longer than you like, but I chose it because I can trim it easily. Oh, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> well, it's more hair than you're used yes. to. It's more hair than, so right away, let's just back it up a little bit. Oh man, that's different. I'm not saying anything, but my mind's going a million miles a minute right now. But I want you, you know, it's a different experience for you, so take it in. Please be voting. Tell us what you like on Elena. I think over time I can probably warm up to it. I love this <laughs> on you. I just, this is like, I'm getting chills, okay. I love the soft bang. This, what do you think? It's definitely a warmer color than you're used to wearing. Yeah, but the length, too. A little, the length, length, the little, yeah. you know, you're both <clears throat> getting used to more hair on Elena, too. And it could be trimmed, but look, you have a gorgeous long neck that never gets to really, you know, this is enhancing kind the of length. the neck. Oof! Yeah, I think... I can warm up to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's and different it, because, like I said, I haven't I had long hair since like 30 years ago. Okay, I get it. I get it. And I want well, you to see. Let's see her from behind. Yeah, and I want everybody to see first. Now, look, everybody, at just this fringing, and you will see it, you know, in the. Actually, I'm, I'm going to show you. I want you to see that little fringing. Mm -hmm. But this is a little layered. It's not thick. Mm -hmm. It's just different than what you're used to. True. That's all. And so what I love about Harmony, that's the, the name of the swig, is it's cut kind of away. Like oh, that's one I really like. Right? And you said that. And you can even, with your hair, look. Mm -hmm. so it's even more like that. Right. And you can even take it and pull it back with a clip. So let's say for the wedding, you want to do something a little different. I'm going to show you. And all I'm doing, you know, I'm not doing much of anything right now. I'm just showing you we're playing. But I want you all to see, I didn't do a big deal, but I'm clipping that hair, which pulls it away from the face. Can you see that, the clipping in the back? Okay. Well, that's a maybe. Look where their hair pulled back. Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. I okay. love, I've got to take a picture of your, oh, my phone is off. The profile is like everybody, you have to see. Look at the profile right here, and here's Elena's hair, and she could pull some of it forward right there, and it all makes sense. So that's what I'm about, is making sure that the illusion works, that no one thinks twice. So will there be people there that you haven't seen for a little while? Probably. Okay. And some people are going to think, 
for hair group. They're not going to think twice. Because when you go to a wedding or you go anywhere you're dressing up, you're thinking about you and are my earrings right and is my necklace and are my pants too long. They are really not thinking about your hair. So they might just think, oh, she had it styled. But how you like a little of this, you said you like it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can get different looks with Harmony. Yeah, that's probably, I need to send to my daughter and see what she thinks. <laughs> great idea, great idea. Okay, so let's keep going. So I'm putting Vicky Mono in Coffee Latte. So you will see like Harmony is a machine teased wig. Mm -hmm. That means it gives you a little, little lift. A mono is a completely flat wig. And this color is coffee latte. So the bangs need to be trimmed. Let me back it up just a little so you can kind of, I don't want to get that hair in your eye, but I want you to see a little bit. So, I, do you wow. see the difference? Uh -huh. Yes. So, personally, this would not be my vote for you. Because it just, it stopped this. Where okay. Harmony lifted you, you're just, it's just like just putting on a pair of baggy pants. On okay. To me, to me. Okay. But I'm not the yeah. one going to the wedding, so. Well, I see your point, yes. Okay, I've been dying to put you in Katie. Katie in Ginger Brown. Do you remember what wig you purchased that you never wore? Do you remember the name of it? I do not because okay. it's been on the box for like a year. Oh, <laughs> okay, no problem. So this color is... But we can get it out. It's okay. here with me. This color is Ginger Brown. So I want you to just, just put your hands in here and just play. And the bangs would have to be trimmed again. And again, see, I'm kind of gravitating. To okay, I love it. Put it away. That's okay. Let me back it up a touch to get those bangs a little out of your eyes. But I don't want to change the look. So, I think the color I like. Yeah, color. the color is very pretty on you. I love the coffee lattes and the ginger browns because. They just add a little dimension to mm -hmm. your hair, and you see the different colors bring out. They they connect with your eyebrows, your eyelashes, your coloring. Here it comes. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Elena brought the wig that has been sitting around for a year. Okay, Kelly in Raspberry Spice. Okay, all right. I love Kelly. <laughs> I love Kelly, but I'm not sure if that's the right you know, wig for you, but we will look afterwards. I guess I wasn't sure what I was doing. That's okay. So this is Katie, and you can completely wear her flat, you can wear her full, you can calm everything down. I can back comb her if you want a little softer look. I'm actually surprised that I kind of like the length. I love the length on you. It's the same like Harmony. Mm -hmm. It softens you. Now look at look at the difference. Right. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. And you're tall. I mean, I wear wigs down <laughs> down here. I could put the longest, sexiest wigs on you, and you'd look amazing. It's just if you wanted. This is beautiful on you. What do you all think? You like it? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, yeah, <laughs> from husband. Yeah, I oh, love I, it. Liked all of them, so. Well, I wouldn't say I like all of them. Okay. But well, if I trimmed the ones you were kind of liking, you would love all of them. <laughs> okay. They yeah, just I'm, I'm need a surprise little surprised of the length because. Yeah. Just because like, you can't grow your hair I can't. that length doesn't mean. But even if I can grow, yeah. it's not gonna look like this because yeah. you can see through it. Yeah, I get it. And you you are like uh, millions of women all over the world. 
So I want to show everybody the back. And so it's just a light, layered, really, really natural. Let me just see the back. Let me put it so you can see. Mm -hmm. It just moves. It's, it's not thick. Yeah. To me, it just enhances you. It makes sense on you. It's really beautiful. So, okay? Even the longer um, vein doesn't look bad on it either. I agree. However, we don't want it in your mm -hmm. eyes. So, I've got to trim it no matter what. But I like to trim bangs, or if you're going to a hairdresser, for me, I like to trim bangs so it looks like I almost need a haircut, but not quite. But they cannot be touching your eyes, your eyeballs, unless you're my sister Sheila, because she wants it all, all in her eyes. That's her sexy feel. So, okay, mm -hmm. Katie Ginger Brown. It is beautiful, and I can picture powder blue with you, with your eyes, with your blue eyes. It's pretty. Okay. All right. All right. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, okay. All right. Here is again Katie, but I picked her in a darker, more your color, okay. dark chocolate. I wanted you to see it. So up at the hairline, and even the tabs. And you play. Here, I'll hold those. I maybe put them on. Okay. I think the lighter one was better, right? Yeah. So yes. when the longer, the soft, softer color. Is yes. Longer. longer. Yes. Softer. Yeah. Yes. So I, I, I think if it's shorter, I don't mind dark. But when it's like longer hair, softer look, it looks better. Because there's more, more out of the it. color. <clears throat> and the other option is if you were a client that wore darker makeup, mm -hmm. more blush, more eyeshadow, a little deeper eyebrow, then it would connect more. Okay. But I know you like a lighter makeup, correct? Well, not natural, yes. Yes. Well, so no so that's the way you could do it. If you know, when I go so let me just show you. Because I have, and I didn't put all my makeup on. I didn't do my eyeliner stuff because, in your honor, I didn't do it all up. <laughs> but I just want to show you because I have my makeup on and my eyebrows are, see, a little darker than yours. Look. Mm -hmm. So, and I have a darker lipstick and I've got blush on. So it makes a little more sense. But it's a deep color. So, and you want, you kind of want your eyebrows to match so the illusion is, you know, it's your hair color, but your hair appears lighter because there's not as much of it, so you don't need a darker eyebrow. Yeah. Okay. And I've got one more, and this one also, I'm, I think I'm going to love on you. This is McKenna. Again, in coffee latte. I already know you want to go. Hmm? <laughs> so you play with her. She is longer, but I knew I can make her shorter. I love McKenna. To me, she doesn't get enough attention. So I'm putting her on too. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with you. I don't love it as much. There's a. I loved Harmony and Katie, um, and we can try Alana again, but I don't think you need that, the way right it's here. falling, you know, on some women it's great. Now, I can trim 
McKenna to here. But now that we're looking at you in a little longer length, look at the difference in the, the other one was better. The longer, a little longer, right? Yeah. It wasn't even just the shape of it. Mm-hmm. Which was a little better, I You can put McKenna in a pony. You can clip her up. Well, but then, <laughs> ah. I don't know. Well, so, say what you're thinking. What are you thinking about it? Do you like that longer feel? I don't know how I feel about it because okay. I haven't, I haven't had it a long time. like for 30 something yeah. years. Yeah. And then okay. if you buy a wig that's long and then you clip it to make it short, it makes no sense. Well, it actually, I have to disagree because if everything else is right about a wig except this length right here, then you are probably going to be searching high and low to get the exact wig with the perfect bang and the perfect length. If you find it, great. I think we found it in Katie and in Harmony. Okay. This is just now, this is getting a little long, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's, you know, so it's an investment in looking the way you want, and if everything else is right about a wig, then a little trimming is, you know, that's part of customizing it to what you want. All right. So, I want to put the others back on that you were thinking of, and let's, let's look. And let's start with, let's go with uh, Katie in the ginger brown. So the way you put a wig on, upside down, and our wigs have these sizers right here like bra straps. And if you hold them right there and dip your head in, that's how you put a wig on. And don't try and get it right at the perfect spot. Get it between your eyebrow and your hairline. And over your little bun. Perfect. Now, you don't go like this because you'll flatten it. Just lift this hair out of the way. And now just pull the wig up right to your hairline. Perfect. Now find those ear tabs. Make sure they're even. Okay. Okay. Now you play. So basically there is nothing to clip with the wig. No. No. Okay. Some clients like clips and they can sew them in the, themselves or we do offer a service that we will sew the clips in for an additional charge and you can choose online on our website do you want them here? Do you want them? You know, like where do you want them? This looks better, right? Mm -hmm. The color and yeah, it's a little bit softer color. Yeah, it just it makes the sense shape on of you. It, I think. Yeah. A bit different too. Yeah, the other one was a little bit too much. It was yeah. too much. I agree. Okay, so we have a little oomph here. Not nothing much to it to do. Right. There's not much to do. You just clip those bangs just so they're out of their eyes unless you like that side part but I would you mean know, if I were you I yeah. would just have I, me I don't like just it a couple nice. right now you could always take more mm -hmm. but that's got to go yeah. let me back home it so it's out of your eyes but yeah and it could be clipped it could be worn behind your ears whatever you want to do Okay, looks good. Yeah, it's a contender. <laughs> it's a contender, and picture it with your dress. But even what you have on now, it's just hair. So whatever you're wearing it with, I think it's really flattering on you. Okay. So let's go in again. Let's keep going. So that was Katie in ginger brown. Now let me find my harmony in coffee I'm latte. Yes. So. You go ahead and put it on. Are you starting to feel a little better now? Yes. Okay. Yay! I have a brush if you want to brush it. 
So this one doesn't matter which direction your goat should lay. No. The way it will. Most of our wigs, you can change the direction of the wig, and you just start with training it, like back combing it in the direction that you want to go. So here's the color that matches your current hair, but because there's so much hair on the wig than what you're used to, this, don't you all agree, is okay, so this is flattering. the other one. Which one do you like better? It's Harmony. It's it's a little bit different in the style. I'm kind of 50-50 on those two. Both of them look yeah, good. Both look good. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Pretty. Well, make sure That's you're good. even. Yeah, you're perfectly even. And a little hint. Feel those and feel how they're like wings going out. Yeah. So you want there's wire in them. You want those those little the okay. ear tabs straight down, and what that straight does down. is it keeps it right next to your head. Okay. That's all. So this one has full beans. The other one had like a little bit. Yes. Of However, them. yes, it's got this has got a little heavier bang, mm -hmm. but you can also move that if you want to change the direction. Just. Play with it. Well, I like her too. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Very like flattering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that one and the other one are mm -hmm. about 50 50. And I don't think this one needs much of anything. Mm -mm. This is Harmony, the one that's cut a little bit away. And Katie was good also because it's layered right there, so it's not heavy. You don't like that heavy right there. So I want you to take a look at that and close your eyes, and I'm going to put the Katie right back on. So try and get a feel. All right. Okay. Okay, put your glasses back on like you did before. Yes, over the other. they're they're both great. This has a little thinner mm -hmm. bang, so it could be to the side. So it could be to the off. side. I would trim it a little bit. But if you're thinking too much bang, I don't think so. I love them both on mm -hmm. you. And one of these, one of these wigs, one of these items, as a thank you for being my model, you're gonna take anyone home as my gift to you. That's a tough one, because. <laughs> I kind of like them equally. Yeah. And I'm surprised because that's not what I was looking for. Huh. Well, well when you look on a catalog and everything else, you kind of gravitate to what you normally wear. Right. So, to your safety but, right. net. But, but we don't know what we don't know. And once you get okay with that, there's new possibilities. So that's what that's okay. what I see these as being beautiful, and I'm looking at you, you know, great. You could wear it out right now to lunch or on the plane, and nobody would know a thing. They fit you great, secure, right? Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. But I'm also visualizing you all dressed up with some beautiful earrings, with that long powder blue dress. All right, very pretty. Um, I went ahead and top two. And so one of the first, I just want to put this on you again. The short one? A little shorter. This was the Aria in Coffee Latte. Here, you, you do it. I want you to get used to it. So, so now some of our wigs have Velcro right here instead of the bra hook, just how it is. So then put your thumbs right there. But I want you to be very comfortable when I'm not with you so you know just how to put it on. And this is what you do when you get home with your item or when your item comes to you. 
And if you are not sure and you're really starting to make yourself crazy between two or three wigs, my suggestion is to purchase it knowing we will take them back for a credit on your account or a full refund, but that way you have all three. Some clients get many more than that and look at them all and see what you fall in love with. As long as you don't make any changes on the wigs at all, then we will definitely accept them back. You can return them. So it's worth the process to have them all in one space or you can purchase color rings from us online and look, but it, it's great, but it's not as great as having the real thing in front of you. What do you think? Looks good. It I does think it's look good. More like every day, that is more for special. That would be fun. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. But it has a little bit highlights in here, so it's not the same color. Not the same color as like mine as your just, color. Yeah, it's the same color, but I'm just saying this one has highlights, so it's so it's a little soft, three dimensional too. Yes, yes. No, I like it behind the ear too. And you can do it. Yes, yes. Look at that. It makes total sense. So we're, we're taking our time. Elena's taking her time, and that's how you connect. And when you're looking to make choices on wigs, look at the bangs. Do I love the bang? Do I love the length? How do I like to wear my hair behind my ears? Okay, try it. And, but uh, this is why our clients have 2 to 20 and 30 and 40, because, you know, everything about us isn't perfect. And if it's the hair, well... So you have a hair wardrobe, that's all. <laughs> so I think those are the top three. So shall we try them on and I'll, I'll stop the tape or do you know what you love? Because we can come back to our audience. I want to try the top two. Okay. The top just okay cool but so, I like this one too it doesn't need to do anything with it, it needs it's nothing. nothing I would just nip and maybe just, a couple of yeah, hairs and that's and that is it mm -hmm. so this is what you do when you're at home with your few new wigs go back and forth really beautiful I see what you're saying about casual but also it could be very elegant it's your hair it's like when I'm wearing my own hair it's my hair whether I'm in shorts or glitter Pretty. Okay, let's go back. Here's Katie, ginger brown. Good, I threw you there and you got it. <laughs> and if you're going to address the occasion, like Elena is going to her daughter's wedding, a really smart thing to do is turn away from the mirror and put your wig on and practice, okay, I like it like this, I like it behind my right ear, run your fingers through the back and turn around to a mirror and see how you did. Because you're gonna be hugging people, you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be playing around and you wanna make sure that if you need to, like sometimes if if I'm in the wind or my hair is a mess, I can just turn around. Nobody will notice a thing. I do what I want and I turn right back and it's good. So that's a way to really give you confidence when you're going to be with a lot of people that you know. You want to set yourself up for success. <laughs> oh. You're doing your magic on me. I'm kind of warming up to all of this. Oh my God, it, it's happening. It is. It's happening and you're seeing it right now before your eyes. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's freeing. Instead of, oh, my hair, my hair, my hair. We have women, they're not our clients yet, 
or they've bought wigs, they don't leave their home because of their hair. They complain to their husbands all the time about their hair. And the wigs give the whole relationship a new freedom. And it really lightens the woman up because she feels good. Right? It's yeah. happening. <laughs> okay, I have to make a decision. So this is one. This is Katie. And there will be just the other one. And Ginger right Brown. Will you keep watching just a minute? Because I'm going to put Harmony back on. Yeah. Okay, picture it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now let's do oh, yeah, this. you go. And you're doing perfectly, perfectly. And with a wig or a top piece, before you're actually going somewhere, always grab your mirror and look all the way around and make sure everything makes sense all the way around. And so this hair doesn't have to all come forward because actually this hair goes on the side. So I don't know if you do this or not, but many women that have very fine <coughs> hair up here, bless you, they have a habit of wanting to brush a wig forward to thicken that up, but with a wig you don't need to. So think about where your bang would be and then that other hair, take it back or to the sides. And this is Harmony. What do you think? Yes, it is. Which one you like better? I think I like this one better. That's what I was thinking too. Okay. All good choices. You have three excellent, excellent choices. Katie, Aria, and Harmony. Okay. So are you saying you love harmony? I do. And can you see yourself? Oh, I just got a smile too. <laughs> Cute. Can you see yourself getting dressed up? Or maybe do you have a, a wedding shower to go to? Yes. And might you wear this to the wedding shower also? So then people will already see your hair. Perhaps. And, and yeah. this is who you are, you know, at some events. to introduce her. Yeah. And, you know, and a little tip too, and a lot of our clients will say the same thing. A question on our Facebook group all the time is, well, my everybody knows what my hair is really like. So how can I go? And they're going to all be asking me. So here's the answer. So first of all, a lot of them are not going to ask you. They're going to assume you got your hair done because they're thinking about themselves. But if someone does say, Elena, you look beautiful. I only remember your hair being shorter. That's what they'll say, you know. Mm -hmm. And your answer, you can, you can play it two ways. You can start to crouch down and feel like you have to be on the defensive. Or you can just be a woman confident in your choices and say, you know what? I, didn't, I wanted something fancier for these special events, so I got this wig. Isn't it great? I love it. I feel so good in it. That's your answer. Okay. So we don't hide like lie, although some women do not lie. There's no judgment. Answer however you want. But it's very empowering to stand in. Yeah, some women get their boobies done. Some get eyelashes. Some have you know, tummy tucks. Women do all kinds of things because they want to feel good. And so, whether someone has no hair or a lot of hair like I do, wigs are just another way to express yourself. Okay. So is it harmony? I think so. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here and being my willing, my willing participant. Really, 
Did you feel a little better now? Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Can you just share a little bit about, like, from when you first sat here to now, just so a lot of women go through what you're going through right now? Well, there's a lot of insecurities mm -hmm. about all this. And yeah. um, with your wisdom and a good eye, I got a good eye. I got a pretty good yes, eye. Yes, yes. You're an expert. expert. <laughs> I was pretty open-minded to coming here. It's just like, great. she knows what she's talking about. Just take her advice and yeah. experience. And I, I actually found something that I was not even like, exploring. I get so, it. You didn't know it was yes, there for you, but I you look didn't. beautiful. Well, and now, you. you know, now that you're choosing harmony, I love it. I love the bangs. I love how it's cut away. I love this. It's not real thick right here. Mm -hmm. And I think you like that too. And I love the softness at your neckline. Thank you. Really beautiful. So thank you for being here. Yeah. Really, really making the trip. Long flight. And uh, let us know. Please send Elena all that love because she's doing this. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And we'll see you soon. Okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.